Hey guys, Freak the Handyman here. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to cut down a really large and tall tree that was next to my fence and also around several houses. Please stay tuned and continue watching until the end so you won't miss out on any details of how to do this. If you want to learn how to do all kinds of handyman DIY projects, including home renovations, then you're in the best place here on YouTube. Consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that we'll be uploading every single week. I have these two large and tall maple trees that are right next to my fence. This is on the very back end of my property. We recently purchased this house last October in 2021. And when I first saw the trees, we really loved them because of all the shade. But then as you can see right here, these tree roots are super huge and they're like pretty much like right next to the fence. And also most of those roots are going directly towards the house. They were actually getting really close. So after we removed the wooden deck, we decided that these trees, as beautiful as they are, we're gonna go ahead and remove them. And we made that decision because our neighbor, he has two huge pine trees next to them anyway. So the first thing that we're doing, we're gonna be escalating this tree. And we do this by having a harness, you know, wrapped around us. We have some chaps to protect us there, the front part of our jeans and the harness, it, uh, it has some hooks so we can connect the chainsaw and then we have that rope that goes around the harness. We wrap it around the tree and then on our boots, you know, we have those spikes that you wrap around the boots. So with all this gear, you can easily climb up the tree as tall as you want. And, you know, you just gotta be really careful with doing this kind of work. I'm gonna be showing you exactly what we did to start removing all of these branches, especially like in this tree on the right side, most of it was leaning towards like the neighbor's house that you see right there. So we had to remove one branch at a time. Then we quickly take that towards the front and this shows you how tall the tree was, like another 15 feet above the house. So we definitely have quite a bit of work cut out for us but hopefully in this video I'll be able to share as much detail as possible right here we're putting the rope on a kind of wrapping it around a branch that is a lot higher and this will help to support the branches as we start cutting them down we're gonna use that rope to kind of like lower it down little by little so especially since we have you know quite a bit of tree branches that are going like super tall we have to start cutting them down but making sure that we tie them so we can lower them like slowly like right here we just cut this one and we have it tied there with the rope that we wrapped around a, a taller branch that will allow us to once we cut it you know we can hold it and then drop it down carefully you don't want any of these branches just to fall down because if like this one if it were to hit the fence or even like the neighbor's shed back there it's kind of already like a little bit of damage due to the weather and the time. Then over here, we bring the branches. We have a, a really heavy duty wood chipper. We just feed that through the wood chipper and it's connected to a huge like box truck. That thing can carry like four or five trees at a time. So right here, we're just loading up the entire branch with all the leaves and everything. This is gonna save me so much work and so much time especially in the fall season last year um, you know the last uh, fall I had a ton of leaves like on my roof all over the backyard I think I probably filled up about 25 of those large garbage cans the the bags and it was just a ton of leaves so this is gonna be a huge relief and so we're gonna be doing the same process like you see right there we have the rope that we fed it through the top of a higher branch 
we just kind of wrap it around there. Then once it goes down, you, like we're lowering it right here, that's the end point that we're gonna wrap around these lower branches, tie it, then we can go ahead and cut them. And since it's gonna be already supported, you know, from the taller branch, it's gonna support all the weight from the lower branch that we're gonna cut. Then we can just hold it and just lower it down little by little. We actually have another worker at the bottom that he, he is also holding this rope. So like if some of these branches are super heavy between the guy at the top and the guy on the bottom, they can kind of hold it. But if it's easy enough, the guy at the top, he can just kind of hold the, the one rope and then just lower it down carefully. Then once they have it down there, they can start making any cuts if they need to make the branch like a little smaller. Like right here, you know, this one's like too wide. So we want to go ahead and cut it. And, and that way they can bring it up there, feed it through the wood chipper, and get rid of all these branches as they start coming down. Then any of the, the tree, you know, that's thicker than like 10 inches, we're going to go ahead and cut those and save it for wood fire. But honestly, most of these branches, they went in directly to the wood chipper. Um, kind of like when you go from the midway down, that's when like most of the tree was thick. So those are the ones that we cut it in like 16 inch wide pieces and saved it for wood fire. So this shows you how everything goes down. Over here, they just lowered another branch that was tied there nice and secure. And these smaller ones like that one, he just cut it, let it fall down because it's, you know, it's not that big and it can safely go down there. Communication is key. You want to make sure that, like these guys, you know, they, they, they have their signs. They have, like, you know, a process that they go through. So whenever the guy at the top, he turns on his chainsaw and starts, like, cutting away, the guys at the bottom, they know that they have to clear an area greater than, like, 25 feet. So that way, like, any branches can fall down or they can lower it. Then once it's safe, they can approach it get whatever they need and kind of take it from there so there's some branches when we lowered them they were getting caught on the lower side and those are things that you're gonna have to deal with every single tree every scenario is different this one we were able to knock it down completely within one hour so even though I mean it was it looked like way more work and a lot harder due to the how everything was we were still able to get this tree completely taken down within one hour now this is by um, like my good friend right here he's like a master tree climber that's pretty much all he does then we have a couple workers down at the bottom that they just you know get the branches clean everything up so between the whole crew that's why they can knock down a tree like this within like an hour you know Actually, he was telling me the other day he had a, a larger project with like nine pine trees, pretty tall ones. He said that they knocked down those nine pine trees in one day. So this kind of work, it's not like, it doesn't take a long time. So that's why a lot of the tree companies, they find themselves that they don't have like too much work or they're not too saturated because if you do it right, you know, you can knock down a tree super quick. This is one of the branches that was kind of stuck right there. So he kind of like struggled with it a little bit. Then as he lowered it down, there's like another thicker branch that sticked out down there. It just caught in place. So he actually had to climb back down and remove that branch that was in the way. Then he was able to lower this branch all the way down. So these kind of things, you know, you may have to do basically just clearing the way, making things as easy as possible so we can take everything down and, uh, you know, dispose of it. But like I said, you know, there was many factors of why we decided to remove these two trees, even though, yes, they were very beautiful. I even at one point, I thought about putting like a hammock between both of them you know because it's like a perfect scenario you can put a hammock there and just relax and and enjoy 
which someone else probably would have been totally happy and okay with that. But like in my case, you know, there was too many reasons why I wanted to cut it down. And also, I want to put like a concrete back patio in that area so I can have like fireplace. I want to have like an outdoor fire pit area and like a covered porch and just more usable space, basically. So be that's why all those reasons and, uh, you know, those are all my reasons of why I decided to cut this down. And even, even though it was kind of sad, you know, I was like, I was feeling a little bad w once the trees were gone. But, you know, it was only a little bit. Then we're like, okay, you know, I'm, this is going to help us more for our family and our friends to just spend some good quality time together. And uh, that's why, like, it was only for a little bit. Then, you know, we're super excited for all this work that's going in. But, I mean, that's all we do here. You know, we do all kinds of handyman DIY projects. And, uh, you know, we even do, like, landscaping, yard work. Anything you can think of around the house to renovate, that's what we do. So now all the branches at the top are cut down. We just have to focus on this lower part. This is very easy now. We're all the way at the bottom. We cut it there and then remove it. And that's pretty much it. Now... The other workers are just cutting up the trunks in 16 inch wide sections so that later I can go ahead and split all this wood by hand with an axe. But that's pretty much the step by step process of how you can remove a really large and tall tree that is next to some fences and houses with difficult access. Hopefully with this video, it will give you a really good idea and a, a good example, you know, of how to remove this kind of tree where you have many obstacles in the way. But like I said, with this kind of process, you can take it down and, uh, you know, just move forward with whatever you need to have done. If you hope you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and activate the notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any videos that I'll be uploading every single week. In the description below, I'm going to be leaving several links with the tools and materials that we use to do this kind of project. Please check those links out. That will also support our channel by 